What's up everybody? This is More Power 35 here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a powerful day. Today what I got for you guys is just another gameplay commentary um that I, I just wanted to do because I feel like I haven't done enough gameplay commentaries for you guys lately. So I'm gonna try to do those once a week for you guys. I don't know what day I'll do them on, but I'll just I'll sprinkle them in here and there. Uh, but today I want to talk what I want to talk to you guys about is something that I feel like um needs to be addressed um, and I feel like there's been some youtubers that have addressed this but I feel like I want to give my opinion on it um, and that is the fact that uh, maybe having two Call of Duties a year is not good for the uh, for the life of Call of Duty and let me explain why I feel that way so when we first heard that there was going to be uh, there was rumors going around that COD 4 Remastered was going to be uh, a bonus when you bought the Legacy or higher edition of Infinite Warfare, everybody freaked out. Everybody was was loving it. Um, it was a great time. Even when the game came out, the game felt so good. A lot of the old players said that it said that it felt like the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and everything was hunky dory. But here's where we run into a problem. Um, this year with Call of Duty, and there's been a couple of years, the last couple of years, that Call of Duty has kind of been on the low end of the new game spectrum uh, because of the way that Call of Duty has been headed with the boost jumping and things like that. And it's just, it's kind of hurt the newer Call of Duties um, in that aspect. Um, and I feel like it's also hurting the newer Call of Duties in the fact that it is splitting people's time. And even if they do go back to the standard boots on the ground Call of Duty, if we get another remastered game come out at the same time, it's still going to split people's time because say we in 2018, we get for Treyarch, we get Call of Duty World at War II, and then we also get Black Ops Remastered. Everybody is going to it's just it's gonna be hard to, to split your time between the two games and I understand where Activision and these uh, developers are going trying to give um, the community something else something more something different and I'm okay with that but there comes a point where you've got to look at your look at your year look at your life cycle which is a year and say okay is this going to help or hurt our game now I feel like having a remaster will help it but only if applied in the correct way and I'm gonna give my um my my thoughts on what the correct way would be now say you have the standalone game come out say we get the Vietnam game that sledgehammer has been rumored to be uh, developing in November of 2017 we don't need to have a remastered game come out the same day or even the same month I think the game should the remastered game should come out within five Four and a half to five months after the life cycle um, of the, the the new game has started. So what they should do is maybe in about uh, April, February or April, which was about three or four months. That's when you release uh, the remastered version. Now you still release the DLCs for the new game just so that you can keep that going, but also release the uh, the remastered game maybe you know four or five months into the life cycle and make it a standalone game do not package it with the game yes make a deal to where if you buy the game you can get the remastered or this combo for a certain price but also make it a standalone game just to where if people they don't want to buy the new game they just want to buy the remastered game let them be able to do that and make it to where the community is happy now I feel like that um, that the remasters they're gonna come. We're we're always gonna have a remaster uh, for the next foreseeable future in Call of Duty. But I feel like if they if they package it and distribute it the right way, that it'll succeed. Um, but that's gonna do it for this commentary. I just wanted it to be something short and quick for you guys. Just giving you my thoughts and opinions on this subject. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Comment in the comment section what you guys think about um, this situation. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. I have a really special video coming out for you guys tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, and that's going to do it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.